But I don't know many of you. So you can't really say I really like you guys a lot. I know I'm a Bronx boy. Shoe shine boy. People ask about me, they say, oh, he's got a lot of money. I don't remember any names. If I do remember your name, that's not a good thing. Okay, because you make it to my desk. All right, I walk downstairs, I see an old computer. Boom. Our computer person was fired over the summer. That's my brother-in-law. School age, you don't know me. I like you better. I like Dominicans better than Puerto Ricans. I like whites more than white. <laughs> Somebody said to me once, you're a racist. I said, I am. They said, what? You're a racist? I said, yes. Again. Somebody said to me once, you're a racist. I said, I am. They said, what? You're a racist? I said, yes. Again. Somebody said to me once, you're a racist. I said, I am. They said, what? You're a racist? I said, yes. Again. I'm the owner. I don't need to lie to anybody in this room. You'll hear things about, oh, he's very successful. I am. And I'm proud of it because I'm the owner. I don't need to lie to anybody in this room. You'll hear things about, oh, he's very successful. I am. And I'm proud of it because I, when I bought this building, they all said I was nuts. There was nothing but burnt out places over here and you saw this area itself became school bus alley. I was the first one here. This Reliant is first. Hopefully Reliant finally goes out of business and we pick up all their work. We're praying for that. This Reliant is first. Hopefully Reliant finally goes out of business and we pick up all their work. We're praying for that. This Reliant is first. Hopefully Reliant finally goes out of business and we pick up all their work. We're praying for that. When the Board of Ed stops you at a school or comes in for a spot check and a light is out or something's out, that's your dime. That's 250 to 400 that comes out of your pocket. When the Board of Ed stops you at a school or comes in for a spot check and a light is out or something's out, that's your dime. That's 250 to 400 that comes out of your pocket. I started air conditioning in the buses back in the 1990s. That's why we have air conditioning in our buses. It didn't exist up until 1998. And I was the first one to start it, now it's mandatory in the contracts. Showed buses that have been checked for sleeping children. I started that. Only I used to take a baby and I used to put back no sleeping children. I used to put it on in the back of the bus as a joke to make sure that I had to have the person who walked through the bus take the baby from the back and put it in a seat so that I know the bus didn't come back with children in it. And that became mandatory law. There's many things that Michael Lavalley has done to better the industry. I give you the straight talk. So you know, last year, 17 of us got together when we were basically going to have all of our work taken away from us. It was called the EPP was coming in. 17 companies got together. And we basically sued the Board of Education saying it was unjust, as we did the five times before. And we won, hands down. Every phase of the way, we won. Boom, 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 boom. The judge even said, don't appeal this, because this has already been done five times. Well, the city appealed it. Welcome back. So Michael Lavalli finally admits that GVC was in fact one of the 17 bus companies that sued to block the EPP. The EPP is a very good thing for all employees of any school bus company. The EPP is beneficial for all school bus company employees. Michael Lavalli is participating in trying to stop the EPP and has the audacity to try and make it seem like his participating in the lawsuit is a good thing for his employees. It is absolutely ridiculous that he is making it seem like blocking the EPP is a good thing. What a jack off he is. GVC participating in the lawsuit to block the EPP only benefits him and hurts his employees and their families. Michael Lavalli admitting to his participation in the lawsuit to block the EPP only says one thing. He does not care about you or your families. Now ask yourself this question. If Michael Lavalli really cares about me, why is he actively participating in trying to stop something that would benefit me and my family? To all GVC employees. Do not fall for his trick to try and get rid of local 1181 union. Getting rid of the union would be a very bad thing for you employees. The union is there to help protect and fight against owners like him. He cares nothing about you. So don't be fooled.